Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is an exercise uh, shown by the epsilon delta characterization of the limit that the limit of sine x over x when x goes to zero is equal to one. This is a proposed solution. Now, uh, the characterization of the uh, limit is as follow. The limit of sine x over x when x goes to zero equal to one. This is equivalent to proof for any uh, given uh, positive epsilon, we have to, to show the existence of delta, which is also positive, and delta the, depends on epsilon and zero, such that for all x in the domain of definition of sine x over x, such that uh, for x minus zero less than, here we have less, less than, less than delta. This implies that sine x over x minus one is less than epsilon. Uh, note that here I forget less than delta. So I have to write here, I will do it uh, after. So, First of all, we remark that the function sine x over x is an even function, so it is sufficient to search the limit from one side. So I will search the limit from the uh, positive uh, side. This is first. Secondly, since the limit is a local uh, concept, so it depends only in the neighbor of the considered point, which is here zero. Uh, uh, don't forget that the limit is a local concept, which means that it depends in the behavior of the uh, point, the neighbor of the uh, point. And without loss of generality, we can take x between 0 and 1. By the uh, intermediate value theorem, apply it for the uh, function sine on the interval zero x. Don't forget that sine x is well defined on zero. There exists a variable and I say a variable and not a constant because the alpha depends on the, uh, the, uh, the zero and uh, x. For this reason, we write alpha, which depends on x. But uh, uh, alpha x is between x and zero, such that sine x minus sine zero equal to x minus zero cosine alpha x. We replace this in the formula, and we will obtain sine x over x minus one is equal to cosine alpha x minus one, we are here, which uh, can be write as cosine alpha x minus cosine zero because cosine zero is equal to one. And we, uh, we apply it again, once again, the intermediate uh, value theorem to cosine alpha x. Uh, we will get alpha x minus zero uh, by minus sine alpha prime x, which is less than or equal to the absolute value of alpha x. But don't forget that alpha x uh, is between zero and x. So this is less than or equal to the absolute value of x. So finally, we can take delta, uh, uh, the, the minimum betw between one and epsilon. And we will finish the proposed solution. Thank you. See you next time.